I've got lots of portable power stations from little ones like this one here that can provide like one extra charge for my laptop. And I've also got bigger ones like uh, this one here, which can charge my laptop like 10 times over. I've even got bigger ones than this down in my basement, which are like 10 kilowatt hours that can power my entire house in the event of emergency. And even though all of these power banks are very useful in their own ways, it does seem like in the market today, they're either too big and heavy to go hiking with, for example, or they're just simply too small to provide any meaningful power if you're trying to do something like make a cup of coffee. And that's where this one comes into play. This, my friends, is the Anchor Solix C800. Plus. The Anchor Solix C800 Plus is a power bank I became very interested in last month because I was out in Las Vegas visiting CES or the Consumer Electronics Show where Anchor was actually showing this exact model off. This thing's got a great set of features that really set it apart from the competition along with a really cool party trick which I'll show you in a minute. It's pretty impressive. Before we get all the way into this though, I do wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Anchor Solix, and they did provide this C800 Plus for the purpose of this video. Even though this video is sponsored, just keep in mind that I am really picky when it comes to accepting sponsor opportunities, and I generally say no. But when Anchor Solix presented this to me, I said yes, because I saw it at CES, and I really wanted this thing, so that's why we're here today. And one more thing before we move on, you might be wondering, well, Dave, this is kind of a hiking, trail running kind of gear channel. What are you doing with a big old power bank here? Well, if you follow me in the past, I've talked about these things before because I generally really find these interesting. I really like power banks. I don't know why, that's a weird thing to like, but they are very useful for my personal use case. And my personal use case are things like car camping with my kids, off-grid weekend adventures in my car, or simply just charging my cameras, my laptop, and my drone when I'm out in the field trying to film something like a big hike or trail run, or even just around the studio here to power the big lights that I use, or even like the mixers and microphones and all the things that I have to power up. And of course, the other use case being emergency backup in the event of a power outage, it's great to have something like this around to charge up your laptops or keep your kids entertained with TV. But that's enough blabbing. Let's talk about what the C800 Plus is. This is a brand new model from Anchor Solix. And if you're unaware of Anchor Solix, they make a whole bunch of different capacities of this type of power station. Like I said, like the big one I have here, which is substantially larger and heavier, this is a thousand watt hours of capacity, where this one is 768 watt hours of capacity. And even though this thing has a sizable capacity to it, it's actually really light. And that's what I like about this thing so much. This thing weighs just around 22, 23 pounds. I can hold it up with one hand very easily. I can cart it around and it's way easier to manage than some of the larger power stations I have around here. So let's talk about some of the hardware here and the specs. As you can see, it's a pretty small unit. It's about 15 inches wide, about 10 inches tall, and about eight inches deep. This unit also has these really nice ergonomic handles that are molded into the side of it. And these are very chunky, very beefy handles. And since it's so light, it just makes it really easy to lift up and move around. If we flip the unit over, you can see there's also these nice chunky big rubber feet, so it's not gonna scratch anything up when you put it down on the table. Flipping over to the other side is where all the inputs are to charge this thing up, and we'll talk about this more in a minute. And then around the front here is sort of the business side of things, obviously, where you've got all of your ports. We'll talk about the ports in a minute. Right at the top here, though, is one of the coolest features about these Anchor Solic products, because all of their products, all of their power stations, I think, have this built-in flashlight at the top here. This thing is super cool and super handy. All you gotta do is simply push the button all the way on the right here, and you've got three phases of brightness. At its max brightness, this is perfectly bright enough to, you know, be around a camp, fire and be playing cards or something like that. And what's even better about this, and you might be able to see it on camera on my face right now, is that it's not like a harsh white light. This is a nice warm glow. So at this point in the video, you might be wondering, well, Dave, what is that party trick that you mentioned at the beginning of this video? And I wanna get right to the point now, instead of diving into all the other ports, which we'll do later, let's talk about that party trick. So if I flip the unit back over, you can see that there's a little button here that says push. If I push that, this little pop, this it's almost like the trunk of a car will open up. And inside here, 
is that party trick. This is super cool. Looking down into the trunk of the C800 Plus, you're gonna notice a couple of things. First of all, you've got these two handheld flashlights, and they're not just flashlights, they've actually got three modes. So if I push that button one time, it goes into standard flashlight mode. And as you can see, it provides about 200 lumens of brightness coming out of the front of the flashlight, a directional light. If I push that button again, it goes into floodlight mode. And floodlight mode has a bunch of little LEDs on the inside of the lantern here that kind of have varying angles, and that's gonna provide nice, adequate ambient lighting. And pushing that button one more time puts it into candle mode. And candle Candle mode gives off this really warm kind of glowing light similar to a candle, as the name implies. The really cool thing about these little flashlights is that they have incredible battery life. At max brightness on a full charge, you'll get about eight hours of use, which is pretty impressive. And if you wanna maximize your brightness, you can dim them down by simply holding the button on the front in any of the modes, and that'll give you up to 130 hours of battery life for multiple days of use. But you might have noticed one more thing inside this little trunk. There's an additional item here and this is where things get really interesting. So if I take one of these flashlights and we take a look at the bottom of it here, you'll notice a couple of things. First of all, we do have a little D-ring. If you wanna hang this like inside your tent or something, there's a D-ring to hang it upside down, put it on various objects, that's very handy. But another handy feature about this is that the base here has a little magnetic cup. The reason why this little magnetic cup is important is because if we look in the trunk here, there's an additional item, and this is actually a stand for the lights. All you've gotta do is take your little magnetic base here, attach it to the metal ball end of this rod, this extension pole, and you've now got a little stand to aim your light wherever you need it. But the party trick goes even further because this little stand with the light on it doesn't have a tripod base to it, but it's got a little port here right on top of the C800 Plus. There's a port with a little uh, quarter 20 threaded thing in there. And all you've gotta do is put your pole in there, turn it around a few times, and now we're tightened up, and I can expand this. So now I've got this extension pole that actually expands up well beyond the view of my camera and you've got a directional light that you can point anywhere you need it when you're camping. So now you probably get what I mean by party trick because if you're at the campground, you're gonna become the most popular person at that campground if you've got one of these. Another interesting feature about this expansion pole that holds the lights is that in Anchor's marketing material, they actually showed that you can unscrew the top from it and now you've got a standard selfie stick. You could put like a tripod head or GoPro adapter up here. I haven't tried that yet, but it's actually so it feels pretty high quality. It's right up there with all the other ones I use. And of course, when the camping fun is over, all you gotta do is pop the top on your C800 Plus, drop the lights back in there, and you don't even have to turn them off. They turn themselves off once they made up with the charging connectors, and then put away your expansion pole, shut the top, and you're good to go. And in about four hours, those flashlights will be fully charged up again. I know I've been talking a lot about the flashlights built in and the, the little extension pole and stuff, but really that's the feature that sets this thing apart from the competition and why I think this becomes incredibly versatile, not only from a camping perspective, but for an emergency perspective. Imagine the power goes out in your house and you wanna get flashlights quickly. You could have this thing plugged in somewhere in a closet and ready to go fully charged with all the party tricks and flashlights out of the way, let's talk more about the features on the front of the C800 Plus because it does have a lot to offer. So you'll notice that the in the sections here, these are all the output ports, that each section has its own on and off switch. So you've got a button here, and you've got a button here, and a button here, and all of that can control what features are turned on and off independently. So let's start in the top left here. We've got a car socket output. This is your standard like cigarette lighter style adapter if you have things that use that. To the right of that is where you have the little built-in display. You can push this button here to illuminate the display. This will give you your input and output wattage and how much you have remaining, how many hours of use you have remaining depending on the load at a given time. Another nice feature about the Anchor Solix C800 Plus is that it is compatible with the Anchor app on your phone. This does have built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you're able to control this from anywhere in the world. If you have it hooked up to your home Wi-Fi router, you'll be able to turn the AC section on or off or the DC section and see how much battery capacity you have left all remotely anywhere in the world, which is super cool. Now below the little info display here, we do have USB ports and they're not just standard USB USB ports. You do have two USB type A ports, which are great for charging up small accessories. But to the left of that, we have power delivery ports, 
On the left, we have a 100 watt output. That's great for larger USB appliances like uh, laptop computers, maybe a, a MacBook Pro or something like that. And then you have a 30 watt output to the right of that, which is also good for you know phones that can accept a fast charge, for example. And then down the bottom here, we do have the AC section and you've got one, two, three, four, five AC outputs and you do have a button to toggle those ports on or off. The really interesting thing about the C800 Plus, despite being pretty small, lightweight, weight and portable is that the AC output, the inverter built into this thing is quite powerful. This thing can handle up to 1200 watts of continuous output from the AC ports and it can actually surge all the way up to 1600 watts, which is pretty impressive. That means if you plug in something with a really high starting wattage, like a toaster oven or a coffee maker or something like that, it can sustain that higher wattage load for a little bit of time before it drops back down to that 1200 watt territory to maintain it. Now keep in mind, even though this this does provide a really high output from the AC ports. It is only a 768 watt hour capacity. So if you do plug in something that takes like a thousand watts, you'd only be able to run that thing for you know, 45 minutes or so before the battery would deplete. With the output out of the way, let's talk about the input and charging this thing back up. So if I flip it on its side here, you can see the input ports. On the left here, you've got the standard wall adapters. When you plug this into the wall, it will pull about 750 watts, which means you can charge this unit up in about 58 minutes from dead battery to fully charged. Uh, and that is pretty impressive. And to the right of the reset button, we do have the solar input. Now this particular model can hand up to 300 watts of solar. And if you do provide that, it will charge the battery from zero to 100% in like two and a half hours. Now let's talk about battery chemistry. The C800 Plus here relies on lithium iron phosphate batteries or LFP batteries. And those are typically safer, more stable and provide a longer lifespan. As with all batteries, batteries will degrade over time with cycles. This could be anything from your cell phone to your laptop to a big battery bank like this. The cool thing with this, because it has LFP batteries, is that you can actually use it up to 3,000 times and you'll still have 80% of life left in it. And Anchor says that they've implemented some smart temperature controls in here to extend that life even further. And with all of that said, you can expect about 10 years of use with a unit like this with regular use. And because of that, they actually provide a five year warranty direct from the manufacturer. Okay, now let's talk about who this thing is for. Like I said, in my use case, I'm talking like car camping, glamping kind of situation, weekend adventures, just having this thing around, able to charge my laptop when I need to, when I'm not near an outlet, that's what I'm interested in. But I could also see this being very useful for van life, for people who are living in a van or adventuring in a van. And the nice thing about this is because it's so portable, you can take this out of your van, go inside somewhere to charge it back up, put it back in your van and continue on. Where a lot of van life setups typically have big heavy batteries that are stationary and don't move, this one you can take in and out without an issue. And like I said before, this is also a great companion for an emergency backup situation. In just about any situation, just having this like in your garage or in your closet, ready to go, fully charged with built-in flashlights, I just think that's kind of a no brainer. And finally, in my case, that's pretty niche, having it around this photo video studio where I can just plug lights and cameras and things directly into it and not have to worry about extension cords. And man, this little pop top hood thing is just super cool. I really, I really like that part. Now let's talk about pricing and availability because if you're interested so far, you might be wondering where can I buy one and how much will it cost me? And right now at the time of filming this video, it's not actually available. It's for pre-sale only on the Anchor website. And I'll link that in the description of this video down below. The benefit of the pre-sale situation is that it can actually save you some money because the MSRP or the suggested retail price of the C800 Plus is going to be 650 US dollars. And when it comes to the price, another thing to keep in mind is that there's actually two versions of this unit. There's going to be a C800 non-plus unit and then there's the plus unit. Now the non-plus unit it will not come with the built-in flashlights in the top here. It will still have this storage compartment, but no flashlights inside. And going for that non-plus unit without the flashlights will actually save you about $50. But in my mind, 
The flashlights are so cool. I, I think if you're interested in this, the C800 Plus version is definitely the one to go for. And with that said, we have reached the end of this video. This became kind of long-winded. I wanted to keep it short and sweet, but I also wanted to cover all the details. If you're interested in checking out the C800 Plus and getting your hands on these super handy flashlights, check out the links in the description down below. If you found this video fun or entertaining, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel down below. And if you use these things, you, you have power banks at home, or you're at least interested in them, and you wanna see more on this channel, leave that in the comments down below. Is this something that you're interested in? Am I boring you? Is this channel not about battery banks? And that's it, that's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I just noticed that this might actually make a pretty, pretty useful video light as well. Okay, bye.